started going to a church a few weeks ago, and the name of it is New Vision Baptist, and it's in Dallas, Georgia. Um, the pastor, I don't even know his name. Oh, my goodness, do I love him. I went one time, the first time I went, I'd been going to a church, but I'd never really felt the Holy Spirit that much in that church or felt like I was visited. I mean, you know, we have the Holy Spirit in us, but it's nice to get the cold chills and know God's in there when you're in there. Uh, but I hadn't really felt anything like that through anything there. So I decided, me and Chris decided to go visiting, and we went to a church that's right down the road from us on 61 called New Vision. And there's a guy there that preaches who was saved. He was actually a bus kid that was brought in on a bus um, and, and saved. And he preached in prisons and for homeless people for a long time. He was called to preach at this church in 2000, and I believe he's been there two years, 16. Y'all, the first time he prayed, when he prayed, I felt the Holy Spirit all over me. Um, when he preached, it was amazing to me. He preached, and not he wasn't a teacher, he was a preacher. And so many preachers now are teachers. And a lot of y'all might like that, but in a way, it's kind of like tickling the ears, kind of like going to Sunday school, kind of like listening to this Bible study. If we're going to get anything out of church, we need to be preached to. We need to feel conviction. If God's word does not pierce us like the double-edged sword he says it is, then there may be something you need to check up on if you're not getting that piercing, if you're not getting convicted, if you're not getting those cold chills, if you are not being visited by God when you're at church, then you need to think about it. Because I'm telling you, it had been so long since I felt that way. When we left that church, I turned around and I looked at Chris and I went, I got in the car and I said, Chris, that was amazing. And he said, yeah. I said, I felt the Holy Spirit when he prayed the first time. I said, and then throughout the whole service, I couldn't keep from crying. It was such a blessing to me. And then when we were in the car, I started crying. And I told Chris, I said, I have not had a preacher preach to me in a long time and make me feel convicted and make me feel like I need God and I need church and make me feel like I wanted to pray for the pastor and I wanted to pray for the people in the church and I wanted to be a part of a body like I did in that church. Very small church. Probably didn't have 44 people there that Sunday. I think that's what was on the board when we went back the next Sunday. Oh, my goodness, was it wonderful. If you live anywhere around this area, if you are not real, not feeling that conviction, if you really feel like you need a checkup with God, then I suggest you come and see this guy preach. He, he is hot and blessed by the hand of the Lord. I know it's not crowded because people don't want to hear that anymore. They don't want to be convicted. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to feel like they need to get out and talk to people about salvation. He's the kind of preacher that makes you feel like you need to knock on your neighbor's door and tell them about the Lord. He's the kind of preacher that makes you feel like God is real and people are going to go to hell and we need to tell them about the good news. It is a blessing to be in a church like that. I don't know why his doors, I cannot believe that that church is just packed full. Um, and it just goes to show that people don't want to be convicted and they don't want to feel like they need to visit and they don't want to feel that way anymore. They just want to be comfortable. And, um, oh, I just love him. Anybody around here, please come and visit that church. It's wonderful. And I looked at Chris and I said, that's the kind of church we're going to have to go to on Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. That's the kind of church you feel like you need to tithe. That's the kind of church that you want to go to. I'm so excited about it, y'all. Anyway, enough of that, I guess. Um, but it was just wonderful to see that. Um... <laughs>